Hey guys, Luke here. I'm here to bring you some gameplay of Rugby League 2 World Cup Edition. Now, we're going to be doing Franchise Mode, and I'm going to be playing with the Bulldogs, you guessed that. Bulldogs, right there. We're using the Bulldogs, and I've actually played through to 2011. This is my save from back, from like 2009, I think, because I had updated, I made all the updated rosters in 2009, and I had a look in, at my save, and I was like three quarters of the way through 2010, so I just simulated that. Um, before we get into our first game, I'll take you through our actual like roster. Okay, so there's a fair few guys who are in the team at the moment. Okay, like majority of them. Obviously, still got Luke Patton at the club. This is 2011, as you can see there. Um, you got contract and that sort of stuff. Actually, I think the actual concept, like the franchise, is actually well better made than what the Rope League Live 3 is, funnily enough, in terms of contracts and that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, we've got Josh Morris still at the club there. Tony Winnerstein still in the NRL. Good one. A lot of players are still in the NRL, but uh, aren't at the club. Obviously, Andrew Ryan retired. With the Bulldogs, David Stagg left not too long ago. Greg Eastwood still in the current side, so only two people remaining from uh, back of that 2009 side slash this 2011 side. Yeah, they've actually got pretty good depth in their side, and a lot of these players might be thinking, like, why are they rated so good? That's because training, like, training is good in this game. They progress very, very well. Um, Eastwood last season didn't have the little star. Now he's got a star. You see the controls on the screen there. The passing is, like, all the same, but... I don't really remember all of the controls. Like, it took me ages to figure out which one's actual, like, you know, ground the ball sort of stuff. And, like, kicking's completely different. Um, and just, yeah, it, it feels so different. Sprinting's also different button. Um, controls are similar, yet so different. This is the start of Here we go. Mount Smart. Let's look at the Warriors lineup. Uh, I see Steve Price there, Brett White, Sean O'Loughlin, Lance O'Hire, Brent Tate still there, Mark Gasnier, Denim Kemp. Shout out to the locker room there. Uh, Michael Crocker, I think, on the bench. I think it's Riley Brown hooker. Not many people probably remember him, but I do for some reason. Uh, yeah, the team's actually... They've got a few people that I know. I think it's Sean Gleason or something on the bench as well. Here's our lineup. Luke Patton at fullback. Wingers, Goodwin and Winnerstein. Centers, Idris, Morris, Harves, Molson and Roberts. Props are Hennett, Hickey. Ennis is the hooker. Second row, Ryan Warburton, Staggs, Locke. Your link, Gordon, Greg Eastwood. Chris Armit and Brad Morin are the bench. So not a bad lineup. Uh, probably would have done pretty well if this was the actual lineup. Like in season 2011. We're underway. Kick off. Here we go. Ben Roberts kicks it off. Right footed Ben Roberts, uh, mind you. And he actually does get picked for like New South Wales for some reason. Even though he plays for New Zealand as well. It's really strange. Here we go. The Hickstar. The Hickstar gets it to David Stagg. Come on. Cut up pass. Get to Winnerstein. What are you doing, Winnerstein? Why are you running infield? J-Boz, come on J-Boz, gets the offload, David Stagg, staggering, oh my god, staggering, that would have been a staggering effort, wow. Let's get it to the polar bear, Ben Hennett, straight over the top of him, oh the ball's come out, oh no, I forgot that there's like all these like random, like random knock-ons and shit, like they'll just drop the ball just from a normal pass, which is quite realistic, but yeah, so frustrating. Oh, kicking it on the fourth, wow, what are you doing bro, what are you doing, please not a touch to us. Please, not a touch to us. Please, 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 not a touch to us. Please. Yes, thank God. Whew. Timmy Moulton, straight through the gap. I just realized there's another button. Didn't know that you could sidestep. I knew you could do it with the right analog stick. Let's go out to the edge here. It's J Moz. Straight to Winnerstein. Winnerstein. Antonio Winnerstein. Woo! There we go. Our first try. First try. This is actually way easier. I don't know what I expected it to be. I did a little playthrough back on Rugby League, uh, yeah, Rugby League 2 maybe like a year ago, two years ago, something like that. Actually, yeah, two years ago is probably more like it. And I was hopeless. I couldn't do anything. And all of a sudden, I come up in here and I'm just absolutely bossing at the moment. And here we have it. Right-footed Bryson Goodwin. Uh, they didn't even ever change Bryson's um, kicking, like his, his kicking foot until like Rugby League Life 3, like it was ridiculous. But straight over the black dot there, Bryson Goodwin gets us off to a great start, 6-0. Straight down Andrew Ryan's throw here. Kick off, kick off cheese, go on Idris, straight over the top of him, get the float, oh come on, get to it, Malton, go on Malton, cut off float it, oh no. I thought we were able to just go straight from the kick off there. Let's go out to Warburton, Warbs, gets it to Ben Hennett, Ben Hennett in space here. Don't go out. Straight over. Oh, damn it. I thought Winnerstein was going to score. Let's get it. I don't know the buttons. How do I... Gr I don't know how to grab it. I don't know how to grab it. Can I bomb it? Here we go. We can bomb it. I don't know how to catch the bomb. Ah, oh, god damn it. God damn it. Stupid control. Stupid game. 
Oh, come on, he's onside. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Defense. 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 Fourth tackle. They're going to kick it again. Why don't you kick it again? Kick it again, buddy. Oh, defense. Oh, Jamal Idris. He's absolutely. He's poleaxed him straight over the sideline. Well, not really over the sideline, but the ball went over the sideline. Let's get it out wide. Yeah, throw a better pass, Ennis. Oh, J Moz. J Moz. Get it to Winners. Fucking Winners die. What are you doing? Catch the ball. Here we go. Luke Patton. Luke Patton. He's through. Luke Patton. Go on. Go on, son. Luke Patton. Oh, my God. What a beast. What a beast. He's not a video ref yet, so we don't hate him yet. He's, he's still the Bulldogs legend. We don't hate the video ref. We hate the video ref version of Luke Patton because he's just a video ref. But right here, Bulldogs legend version. Still good. Well, Moulton gets a nice ball away. It's J Moz. It's J Moz. Come back inside. Oh, come on, Morris. You've got to put a better step on than that. Moulton. Yeah, Moulton, you're a fucking nuffy, mate. You're a nuffy. Go ahead, Jerron. What a pass for Moulton. Ennis gets the ball. Andrew Ryan, come on. Before half time. David Stagg. Get. Oh, come on, Staggy. Why are you getting tackled? Oh, that's a good ball. Timmy Moulton. And he's knocked it on. Moulton. Oh, my God. It's got, did he, he didn't get injured that tackle, did he? I oh, know. He didn't get injured. It's all good. Moulton. Here we go. J Moz. Oh, what are you doing? Go with a side. No. Oh, we stayed in. Thank God. I can't believe we stayed in. Oh, look at this play. Hickey, through the middle. It's Andrew Ryan. Go on, Andrew Ryan. We've got to score. Yes, Andrew Ryan scores. What a try. What a try. I'm just so good at this game. I think it's the headband, to be honest. Oh, what a pass. Ben Roberts, what a pass. Bre oh, I was going to say Brett Morris for some reason, even though it has a J on there. That's because I'm an idiot. Let's go, Moulton. Oh, Timmy Moulton. Oh, man, you look a right fool right there. You just got old, you noob. You just got old. What the fuck are you? just got, you just got, you just got. Who was he diving at? Who was he diving at, mate? Who are you diving at? Beastie. The cut up pass. Bryson up the wing. Cut back in. No, he can't. I forgot that this game doesn't have, like, the cheese of just cutting back inside, like, rugby league, life three. Oh my god, why? Why? Boom. Oh, throw the pass, Molson. You're terrible. You're genuine trash. Hey, get that shit out of here. Good on you, Molson. You are a genuine star right there. Come on. Here we go. Through the middle. Timmy Molson. Go over the top. Get it down. Come on. Did he get it down? Please say you got it down. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. That was a try. Mate, total domination. 18-0. Uh, they missed 49 tackles compared to our two. We had more handling errors than them. So, basically, it was an even game. And, you know, difficulty was perfectly fine. And, yeah, we just absolutely demolished them. Well, that was surprisingly fun, i got to say. I sort of went in there thinking maybe it would kind of be a little bit shitty. But, yeah, the fun was actually... You know, I genuinely had fun uh, playing that. Maybe it's because I absolutely whipped the Warriors' ass. But... Uh, yeah, had a lot of fun and make sure you leave in the comment section below and let me know if Retro Rugby League is, is sort of something that you want to see. It doesn't have to be this game. It can be Rugby League uh, Live 1 on the Xbox 360, Live 2, anything. Any sort of Rugby League game. Uh, let me know what you, if you want to see it. I'd love to do it maybe once or twice a week just for something a little bit different. Mix it up a little bit. Anyways, that's the video is going to end. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Follow me on Twitter at MrLukeNYT. Face the page in the description below. And I'll see you for the next video. Bye, guys.